Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. So, it's time for the weekend top and bottom of the deck reading, but before we get started, I'm sure everyone is just on the edge of their seats wondering how it went at the doctor. Um, it went. Um, not being put on any medications at this time. They are going to monitor my diet for the next 30 days and see if anything I ingest will induce a reaction. Okay, fine. I can deal with that. Um, so for the next 30 days, I have to write down everything I eat and drink and how much and at what time. Somehow, I think this is just going to be one big journey of self-discovery. So, <laughs> maybe the issue will resolve itself once I actually catalog what I put in my mouth. I don't know. Okay, anyway, um, enough of my jibber-jabber. I'm, I'm not going to keel over dead anytime soon is the point of it. So, blessings, blessings, blessings. Okay, anyway... It is still Capricorn season, so we're going to start out with the Earth signs and go around the wheel that way. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings to see if that might resonate a little bit better. And yes, I'm checking the date because I forgot it already. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. And might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, cross-watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. And just another friendly reminder. If it's not your story, if it's not your situation, if it's not your reading, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take with you what does not belong to you. That's how fights get started. And I don't want to be accused of being a homewrecker. Again. This week. Anyway. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you're up. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get the energies of our Earth sign friends, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for January 9th and 10th, 2021. Overall... Oh, so help me if it goes off one more time. I gotta pause. Give me one second. Is it gonna stay right there? This is what's up. It's staying right there. Give me one second. Pause that crap. Anyway, four swords reversed in the ten of pentacles. Earth sign friends, laying something to rest. Concentrating on the big picture. I like it. Mm. That's the big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog in the pool and sunsets out on the back porch and rocking chairs, sipping lemonade, watching the grandbabies run around and catch fireflies. That's the dream. I like it. I mean, that's my dream. You know, if my son gives me grandbabies someday when I'm very, very old and he's much older than he is now because I'm not ready for that yet. I don't even want to wrap my head around it. He's only nine. Anyway. Anyway. All right. Well, laying something to rest, concentrating on the big picture. Okay. What are we laying to rest? I'm curious. What happened? Ace of Cups upright, Nine of Cups reversed. It was new, it was different, it was magical, mm, potentially toxic. Mm. Happened after that. Mm. Prince of Wands reversed, Ace of Wands upright. Okay. Someone trotted off and probably didn't return. Started something new. All right. Okay. What's coming up? Six 
someone trots off, starts something new, or you started something new, take it over, resonates. Eight of Pentacles reversed, full reverse, no longer putting energy into a connection. Probably don't trust the person any farther than you can throw them. They're possibly a little bit childish. Okay. Let's get some clarity for our Earth sign friends. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 2021, January 9th and 10th. Short, sweet, and to the point today, guys. I'm not beating dead horses on the table, okay? I'm not doing it. Apparently that card had something to say. Ace of Pentacles. I like it. Laying something to rest that's no longer serving you. <sighs> Going toward the dream. New starts in abundance. New things. That's wonderful. I like it. We're going to run with that. Apparently this one wanted to talk too. Knight of Swords reversed. You've cut off communication with someone. Duh, we knew this. They done trotted off and they're doing their own thing now. Or you're doing your own thing. Take it over, resonates. Why the Ace of Cups upright, Nine of Cups reversed. One card, please. Will of Fortune reversed. Whatever whatever it was probably caused a downward turn of events in your life. Possibly you feel like maybe it sent you down a path to self-destruction, maybe. Maybe it was just a karmic connection with a fortune reversed. Hmm. It happens like that sometimes. Sometimes people come into our lives and they kind of steer us away from our goals. I mean... Or possibly this person was a little bit overindulgent. Maybe they like to shop, go to the casino. Just do things that aren't exactly conducive to an abundant lifestyle, maybe. Maybe. Kicking over their own cups. And years in the process, long or the short. Why is the Prince of Wands reversed, Ace of Wands up right here? Six of Cups reversed, yeah. Nah, you got left with a salty taste in your mouth, didn't you? Mm, the Prince of Wands can be a fickle fellow. Never mind the sex of the card, it's the energy coming off of it. Hmm, okay. I can see that. You're probably better off. I mean, who wants a connection where there's, like, tons of self-destructive behavior going on? Who wants to deal with that? I wouldn't want to deal with that. I wouldn't want anyone else to deal with that. Why the Ed Pentacles reversed and the full reversed? Two of Swords. I applaud you. It was not an easy decision. You probably had deep feelings for this person, or you thought you did, or you wanted to. But you've, you know, you're coming to the conclusion where, you know, you're not going to dump your energy into this anymore because you probably can't trust them. That That's... That's amazing. It was a painful, yeah, probably it was a painful decision, but you're probably better off. And I think not only are you just laying this to rest and concentrating on your own abundance, I don't think you give a rosy rat to rear end what happens to them. Because I think not only did you block communication, I don't think you're Facebook stalking them anymore either. I, I think you've just completely 
unfollowed them on all of your social medias and you're just you're not dealing with them anymore and that, that's a good thing that's a great thing I'm happy for you you run that okay if that's your path you run that and again yeah the two of swords this was a difficult decision ha huh? I'm digging your advice right now. Wheel of Fortune. Sorry. The world in the reverse. The moon upright. The emperor upright. And the ten of cups. How do I put this? Don't ask yourself what if. Don't look back. Because you're not supposed to concentrate on the what if it would have ended. What if it wouldn't have ended? That's not what, with the moon card, that's not what you need to be focusing on right now. Don't focus on the unknowns and the what ifs. Be the emperor. Get your crap together. Keep your crap together. Lay whatever this was to rest. Concentrate on your abundant future. And fill in all ten of your own cups. You need to concentrate on right now with signs. Moment's over. Take it or leave it. That's what the card said. It's all good. Oh, before I do that, I should probably do this. Sorry. Nine of Cups reverse, Temperance reversed. I'm stopping it right there. Fill your cups with positive things, not negative ones. And don't allow negative energy, this temperance reverse, to overtake your life. Concentrate on the positives. Concentrate on the positives, not the negatives. Okay. Earth, air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January 9th and 10th. like the temperance reversed. It's negative energy flow and impatience. King of Pentacles upright, temperance in the reverse. Air signs. Why so impatient? Hmm? Hmm? Why? You're there. I think it took you a long time to get there. See what the rest of the cards have to say. But I'm compelled to ask you, why the hurry now? What happened? What happened in this connection? Page of Swords and Justice. Oh, well. Hmm. The little messenger of truth and a leveling of a playing field. This is going to get good. What's going on right now? Oh, well. Eight of Wands in the reverse and a death card. That talks to me about a lack of communication and change. Huh. All right, what's coming in this weekend? Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Mm -hmm. 
declared victory. Things finally being on the level. Hmm. Why so impatient? Air signs. Why so impatient? Get some clarity. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some... Ow. I love my hair. Clarity in the cards on the table for my air sign friends, please. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Don't normally do it, but we're doing it today. Why is the temperance in the reverse? It's swords. That's not impatience. That's negative energy. I mean, it might be a little bit of both. You may have grown impatient with a person, but not necessarily a situation. That ace of swords is the sort of knowledge. It's the sort of truth. Did a little bit of truth? Hey, hey. Look at there. They both have a sword in their hand, too. <laughs> I think learning the truth of a situation... <sighs> Why the Page of Swords and Justice? I'm going to shut up before I mess this up. Came along to dump a cup, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Why the King of Pentacles? Get back in there. Why the King of Pentacles? Oh. Restful, chill. Laying something to rest. Swords of truth. More swords of truth. Swords of truth in an empty cup. You know, that little page of swords sometimes tells us things that we don't want to hear. But it's what we needed to hear. As long as we're clear on that little, little piece of information right there. Somebody came along with some truth that dumped a cup. Now y'all ain't talking and death has walked in. Why the Eight of Wands reversed in death? Could have been a Scorpio we were dealing with. Could have been a Libra. Could have been a Sagittarius. A little bit of everybody at this point. That changed some things, didn't it? Mm. Nobody's talking, nothing is moving forward. Somebody possibly could be feeling a little bit vulnerable. The situation has definitely changed. It's. Hold on. Sun's setting on something. Three of Wands on top of this death card. You see. I'm telling you, it looks like either the sun is setting on a situation or the sun is rising on a new day. I mean, take it however it resonates. Either way, stuff went down. And when things end, things begin.
three of wands waiting for a new day to dawn perhaps hmm one more on that possibly No communication, no forward movement. Five of Cups, Page of Wands reversed. Possibly you're waiting for someone to have a change of heart because you're sad or they're sad. No messages, no communication. Someone's waiting on communication. Could be you, could be them, not sure. What's coming in? Why the Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands? Somebody might be returning to settle the score, level the playing field. Seven of... Seven, 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 seven of swords. Why? The seven associates for return with me, whether it's upright in reverse, because he only walked away with five of those swords. He left two behind. He's the sneaky little devil that all, okay. It's like that jerk ex that leaves stuff at your house for a reason to come back. You ever run into those kind of people? You see, I just boxed up a bunch of the stuff and like took it back to his house because I'm a jerk like that. <laughs> I did. I did. A couple, with a couple of exes actually, I would, I boxed the stuff up and I drove it to their house for them so they had no reason to come back. And that's how I end things. Anyway, why the Seven of Swords? Three of Pentacles and the Five of Wands reversed. Someone's returning to end confrontation and rebuild a foundation. They want things to be equal. How strange is that? Hmm. I don't know. You might not be able to trust this person with the Seven of Swords. It's up to you. But I definitely sense a return. And I'm judging with this King of Pentacles up here, you're probably worth more than what they have to offer you. Just saying. Let's get some advice. Three of Cups reversed and the Knight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles upright. Eight of Cups upright. I'm chuckling because this is sound advice. This is advice I would give a friend if they were in this situation. Depending on who were they, in they were in separation from. If I'm reading this correctly, which I'm pretty sure I am. Unless they are carrying a great big fat pentacle of apology when they come back in. Tell them to take a long walk off a short pier on an, the other side of the mountain at the river. Because you might, it might be a long, cold winter and you might be waiting an awful long time <laughs> for any change to occur. Here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Air signs, it's up to you. That was pretty cryptic. It was very cryptic. Oh, I, I'm going to do this like every day or every sign. I swear. The sun and the four of wands reversed. The high priest and the emperor reversed. Hmm. 
acknowledge the connection for what it was and close the door. Accept the life lesson for what it was and one more set. Ten of Swords reversed in the Hanged Man. You have to allow this cycle to end and accept it for what it was. I have a feeling with this Emperor Reverse, this person was a little bit out of control and a little bit out of sorts, and you may just be better off just ending it. Don't. Don't leave yourself hung up in the gallows over this person. I really wouldn't. That's just me, though. That's just the sense I'm getting off of that. My intuition's, like, on high mode today. I don't know why. Probably because it's Friday. And I have to work four straight days. And I'm already super tired. But it's fine. Tis my life. Okay, where are we at? Water. I'd stop and think. Water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January. Really? January 9th and 10th. My boss is blowing up my phone. I should probably take that. I apologize. Give me one second. We'll shuffle it one more time. Sorry about that. It was work. There's always a crisis. I don't know why. They had lots of fun when I was on vacation for four days. They really did. They had great fun. It was amazing. Kind of, kind of glad I missed it. Anyway, water signs. Back to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January 9th and 10th, 2021. Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles. Hmm. Humble. You could perhaps be feeling a little bit humble. Not sure why that just popped into my head, but we're running with it. We're running with it. Or you're dealing with someone who's a little bit humbled by you. Take it however it resonates. But someone's feeling humble. Six of Cups, upright. Six of Pentacles, reversed. Huh? Hmm? 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 Whoa. This could be someone possibly from a past life or earlier in this life with the Six of Cups. Maybe it's somebody you've known for a long time and possibly things weren't always equal between you with the Six of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> could have been energy in the connection. Could have been affection. I don't know. But it wasn't equal. Fast forward, Eight of Swords reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. You put it on your mind. Put it out of your head. But the pain never really went away. Ten of Swords reversed. But you didn't let it consume you. It was just kind of there, lingering. 
We'll get a clarifier on that in a minute. Queen of Wands reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed. Oh, wow. Huh. Leave that alone for a minute. I'm hearing and sensing this isn't going anywhere and there's no foundation to be built. And now we're going to find out why. I think, here's what I think, water sign friends. Someone is very humbled by you. Mm -hmm. I think a great deal of time has gone by here and someone is very humbled by what you have become. That's just the impressions I'm getting. Justice reversed. Oof. Someone is humbled by who you've become, and now they're starting to realize it, and may want to come in and start a foundation with you. Possibly. They see your pentacles. They see your pentacles. This is someone you've been dealing with for a long time. It wasn't equal. Can I get one on the Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, reversed, please? Empress reversed. Sun reversed. Back then, there was... There was no thought of growth. There was no thought of going anywhere with that. The connection was not mutually felt. I think that back then you felt it more than they did. Hmm. Okay. Eight of Swords. Reversed. Ten of Swords. Reversed. Why the Eight of Swords reversed? Ten of Swords reversed? Knight of Pentacles reverse, stagnant energy. You put it out of your head, you put it out of your mind, but the pain lingered. Five of Pentacles. That pain lingered like those five Pentacles hanging onto that tree for dear life, just hoping they're going to make it through the winter. Maybe if we hang on until spring, something will fruit out of this. Seven of Swords pops up. I didn't ask a question. I'm putting this up here. I don't think intentions are so pure. Pure. I really don't. Fast forward water signs. Why the Queen of Wands reversed? Three of Pentacles reversed.
Ace Wands. Three of Wands. One more. Okay. Okay. Knight of Swords. Temperance reversed. This is sketch, y'all. This is sketch. They watched and they waited. I mean, all things being fair and vice versa, you could have been the one watching and waiting, but no, I don't think so. Hmm. I think you're going to tell him to take a hike, though. I think they're going to try to start something. I don't think you're going for it. Not with this Queen of Wands reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed. There's still a lot of negative energy flow here because you held on to those five pentacles of pain and you held on to those 10 swords. I think you had very deep feels way back when nothing ever came of it and you just kind of forgot about it, but you held on to the pain and I think suddenly you're, be you're being reminded of it. Somebody's trying to come back to build a fight. You're going to tell them to take a walk is what you're going to do. <laughs> I, th I see you telling them to just take a walk. You can go over there and wait a little bit longer. One more card on that just to make sure I'm catching the vibe I'm supposed to be catching here. I want a new start with you. I want your pentacles. I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands reverse does not measure up to the King of Pentacles. It really doesn't. Because not only are... I don't think you think they're worthy... Four of Pentacles reversed. I think you may just cut loose on them. This might not be pretty, Water Signs. When this goes down, wow. card. Oh, no, it was the three of wands that went flying from the wind. Nine of wands, two of swords. You're... The walls are up. You are in, like, decision mode. What do I do with this? It's up to you what you do with it. I don't see you going for it. Because I don't think you think this person is worthy of you anymore. You're the king of pentacles. And there's somewhere between an upside down queen and a humble soldier down on his knees. Because they realize what they could have had and didn't get. And now they want it. And now I think they're willing to do anything to get it. What's your advice? Before we get any deeper into this, because this is getting real case specific real quick. I think this is for a specific person who might stumble upon this. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords reversed.
Don't make this into a more difficult decision than it has to be. I think you hung on to this for a very long time and you may just need to lay it to rest and let it go and concentrate on your pentacles and your abundance and building your future for yourself. If you choose to invite this person and go for it, but I don't think their intentions are pure. I really don't. I really don't. It may serve you best to keep them on the back porch for a little while to see what they do. Ace of Pentacles reverse two of cups. Ace Pentacles reverse, Ace Pentacles reverse. I would not move forward with anything until you find out exactly what their intentions are. That's the vibe I'm catching off of this water signs. You find out why they returned before you do anything. My fire signs. Hold on, I gotta sort the cards back out here. Everything's a crisis. No, it's not. Not everything's a crisis. Sometimes people blow things out of proportion. Okay. Aries Libra. Uh, Aries Libra. Wow. I'm sorry. Aries Leo Sagittarius. That's an odd couple right there. Aries and Libra. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 9th and 10th, 2021. What's in store for y'all? Six of Wands reversed and the Empress reversed. Okay, so the phrase epic fail just popped into my head. Not sure why. Epic fail. Okay, tell me more. Lovers upright in the Ten of Pentacles. Well, this just got interesting, fire signs. Okay, so the lovers could be a Gemini. Gemini's here twice, if that's resonating with you, cool. But if, if it's not, just leave alone. The lovers can represent soulmate connection it can also represent a choice between two somebody may have had to choose between love and money i don't know it can also represent an unequally felt connection 
Okay. We'll get another clarifier on that in a second. Fast forward. Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups reversed. There's stability. There's happiness. There's joy. There's celebration. There's negative energy. <laughs> and fill in your cups with bad crap. Or you have every reason in the world to be happy and you're just not. Okay. Okay. Tell me more. It's coming in this weekend. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Page of Wands in the reverse. Are you talking to a brick wall? Because you're releasing something, but you're not saying anything. So we're going to let something go, but we're not going to verbalize it. Okay. Okay. That kind of sounds like a little bit of a fire sign thing, depending on which fire sign you're dealing with. Sagittarians have absolutely no, no issues with opening their mouth after enough time has gone by and enough repressed emotion has happened. Aries... I love you guys to death. I do. I do. But you, at times, you have your moments where you just kind of don't think before the words come out of your mouth. And Leo's somewhere in the middle. In my experience, being on and off with the domestic partner for going on 25 years now, he quite often does not think before he speaks <laughs> and never admits it when he's wrong. Nope. Won't admit it. Neither here nor there. Okay. Let's get some clarity on this situation. Hmm. Get back here. King of Cups. We'll see if it comes back out. Possibly dealing with some pretty heavy emotions here. I keep looking at that. Epic fail. Three pentacles reversed. No stability, no foundation. There's rogue cards in here. Get back in there. Thank you. Did you see that? <laughs> Hi, I'm here. shadow side, possibly some toxicity in the connection, possibly a very binding connection. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Why the lovers in the Ten of Pentacles? It's a good thing I wear yoga pants now because this would be impossible in jeans. And yes, I actually do do yoga two days a week. Okay. Two days a week. Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay. Planting of a seed. Solid foundations. Going toward abundance. I'm still... Okay. 
Justice Reverse decides to come out. I'm going to take it. Wasn't fair. Wasn't fair. Star reversed. Oh, gosh. I'm catching the scent somebody did, in fact, choose money over love. Possibly due to an injustice in the connection, possibly due to someone's lack of healing over something, but someone chose abundance over love. Hmm. Still connected though with this four of wands, possibly a twin flame, twin flame connection, if you believe in that sort of thing. It depends on your belief system. There's a lot of different definitions of a twin flame situation. So just, <clears throat> pardon me. The coffee's finally starting to kick in. Okay, fair enough. Why the four of wands and the nine of cups reversed down here? Nine of Swords. The connection. Three of Cups reversed. Fire sign. Does that connection still get you? You still losing sleep over the fact that it didn't come together, that you're not celebrating, that you still feel connected to this person or situation, but you're not connected. I think it brings great sadness. I think it keeps you up at night. One more. Seven Swords reversed. For some of you, there may have been dishonesty involved. Knight of Wands reversed. I'm hearing they never came back. Some of you may have just taken a break. I love that phrase. Take a break. And y'all just like, um, when's the break over? Because it's been a minute. I don't know. Still feel bound to this person though. You're kind of feeling like this was an epic fail. Whether you were the one who walked away from someone or you were the one who was walked away from. Kind of feeling like this was an epic fail. Okay. Back down here to this weekend. Why the Four of Pentacles reversed, Page of Wands reversed? Why is that? Why is that? Talking to a brick wall? Seven of Pentacles reversed, loss of patience. Got me in the eye. Five of Pentacles reversed. Oh, 
why the Five of Pentacles are reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. I think for some of you, not enough time has gone by yet. I think someone may attempt an apology, possibly, or, you know, a healing over of things. Four of Pentacles release, probably getting things off their chest, saying what they need to say. And y'all just like, you know what? Um, this is what you can do with your apology. <laughs> Whether they're holding up a wand or they are holding up a sword. Somebody has a very bad attitude. I don't see this moving forward very well. If it moves forward, it's not going to move forward well. Someone's attempt to come in out of the cold. Emperor reversed. I see someone being very humbled. The moon card. Is there a moon something going on with the moon this weekend? Hmm. It's a card of Pisces. It could be dealing with a Pisces. It could have something to do with the moon phase. Hmm. Why the moon? Nine of Cups, upright. Hmm. Fire signs, y'all might go into Monday. I know that sounds very strange. But this, yours may end up dragging out into Monday. Because it just clicked, Monday is controlled by the moon. I don't know. Could be something there, might not. It's weird how this clicks in my brain sometimes. Sometimes the light bulb just comes on randomly. Sometimes I hear songs in my head. Sometimes I feel compelled to say something like a thought will pop into my head. I see someone having a very large attitude in regards to this this weekend. Epic fail. Epic fail. But I see it resolving by Monday, so. Or at least being able to fill each other's cups with positive stuff again by Monday. Okay. All right, gang. There it is. Oh, my God. I didn't get your advice. Shoot. See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? Fire signs, your advice. Hierophant reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, Devil reversed. Do not do anything with this right now. It may be best. This is going to sound super weird because I said it should resolve itself by Monday. If it's going to resolve itself, allow it to resolve itself on a cordial friend level. 
and not be so moody or crappy toward each other anymore, don't go any farther than that until this weird devil energy just kind of makes an exit until you don't feel so bound to it anymore, if that makes sense. Because I feel like some of you will be taking steps for the wrong reason, if that makes any sense to anybody. So I, I wouldn't even engage much with this person. I wouldn't go all in again. I'll put it to you that way. Wouldn't go all in again because it may just be doomed. Yep. Mm-hmm. Three of Wands upright, Knight of Swords reversed, Five of Wands upright, Five of Cups reversed. Wait for very much communication because it could just lead to confrontation and it not even being a sad thing when you part ways the next time because you're just going to be glad to be rid of each other. You'll be too pissed off to be sad. I'll put it to you that way. Okay. I'm really done now. I'm really done. We're at one hour. <laughs> I got to get ready to go to my 10 hours at my bread and butter job. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by. I miss you guys. I'm, um, yeah. <laughs> I miss you guys terribly. But um, the week is not done yet. I'm hoping to have at least most of the set done by the end of the night, Sunday night, if not Monday, because, yeah, just lots going on right now. But what else is new in, in Fire Sign Tarot World, right? I will catch you guys on Monday for your. Work week, top and bottom of the deck. See you later.